When we learned of the gap in the, and this is a very difficult term, death benefits uh, for the families, this was one of those no-brainer decisions for us. Our board uh, authorized our movement very quickly, and actually we received a call from Senator Manchin uh, asking us if we would, uh, if we would help. Uh, obviously, we, uh, we jumped right into the fray, and uh, so we're basically going to cover the gap in funding the benefits uh, to these families who have suffered enough uh, until this shutdown is over or until uh, legislation is enacted that will fund it uh, while the government is still shut down. You deal with the emotional needs of military families every day. Tell us how this is affecting them emotionally. Well, I have to be honest, I haven't had a chance to speak with them directly as of yet, but I can tell you that the ones that I have spoken to, the Gold Star mothers and the Gold Star families and so forth, you know, this is just a very, very obviously emotional time. Uh, they have sacrificed the, so much and then they lose a loved one, uh, you know, in service to this nation. It's just a very, very difficult time for them, obviously. Hey, but to have this kind of, you know, kind of, you know, add to the, you know, to the uh, frustration and to the, and to the grief, the grieving is just unconscionable to us. When a serviceman or woman raises their right hand and takes the oath to go into the military, to defend this nation, we as a people also take an oath. That is one, if they're wounded, we will take care of them, whether it's physical or mental. And two, if they don't make it home, will take care of their families. The fact that the VA is going through this issue and it's going to impact the care and the service, maybe not in a health basis, but in, the, in other benefits in other ways, is just unacceptable uh, given the sacrifices that these men and women have already made.